are dreaming when you are young about different things. And I remember one day coming from school and there was on television an interview with a young entrepreneur. And I just said to my grandma, I want to be a young entrepreneur. Firstly, I would like to take over this grocery from my grandma. A place where you have always to care about something. I loved it, to be honest. It came more and more inside your veins that you want to make something on yourself. My name is uh, Pierre. I am serial entrepreneur, digital dynamics. I play Blisk, Mars driving, expanding, working for Porsche, Volkswagen, Goda, Bentley. In all the businesses, we try to solve a problem to something that we have discovered. Four years ago, I had a very bad injury. I thought maybe the time to get back and enjoy my, my first passion. It get back to end work. When I was studying at the university, I have seen that coffee can be a starter, can be also a closer in the morning to wake up. When I go to a corporate event presentation, I got a coffee serve that looks like nothing, that has no taste. I thought, why not creating a business, espresso project? This is a mobile coffee bar installed on an Italian scooter from 1967. I don't want it to lose the original look, but however, I wanted to have a place to put my machine. I wanted to have some lights and a space also to put my water and so on. I want my coffee to be the same today as it will be tomorrow, as it will be in one month, but also as a base to create specific recipe. Water is also something to play with it. Level of nitrate nearly equal to zero. And thanks to this, I could be sure that my coffee will be always the same. We are using uh, Espresso Project mostly. Product lunch, product presentation. We are asked for weddings. Yeah, the people like the, the experience. Once the scooter was built, I wanted the scooter to be looking good. First cleaning with water, I didn't get the result I was expecting. The machine being used is also full of chrome and I've been thinking maybe I should try to clean chrome with products from the car industry. I am a car lover, I like those uh, cars to be good looking. I was already testing a lot of products. I thought, why not sharing my experience, what I've learned, what I've tested. So this is uh, how this business, Classic Car Care, has been created. A lot of people don't know how to wash the car and this is something you quickly learn. Having a, a bucket dedicated for your car, something that is always clean, having a correct sponge, having the correct products. Snow foam is a very good basis to wash your car. While using it, I've seen that this blanket spread on the car and makes so that the dust will go inside the foam, nicely glide with the soap. Drying your car with correct microfibers, trying to avoid creating swirls. I'm not a detailer, but I want those products to be available to different types of people for the money they pay and for which they have been working hard. The true life of an entrepreneur, you cannot expect to have a return on investment quickly. You also have sometimes no return on investment, but I am from the way that if I have something in my head, I want to test it out and yet sometimes it can be painful because not all of my businesses are, are successful, but you have to take also all the risks to work for your dream. The, the, the best reward is to get people saying thank you. It's not always something that you have to create from the ground. Sometimes things are existing and you can just, with your personality, with your ideas and with your conviction, that you can make big things. I had a chance and I got injured. I was not enjoying life, so I have to find a balance. Work and family, leisure and all those things. When you are going to bed, you can say, okay, I'm, I'm pretty good with things I'm doing.